Evan. Hi, my name's Tom, and I want to take you neurodiving at home, in front of your computer, where you're sitting right now. Let's face it, we are all subject to emotions in our life. We all have these feelings that move us in ways that we don't want to be moved. They cause depression, guilt, grief, the, the list goes on. But every one of them disrupts your life. Could you imagine being in a state of mind that your emotions are not affecting it? Where you have a, a process of control of your emotions. I discovered it, it's called neurodiving. It's simple, it's easy, you can do it at home, you can do it in a seat. So I'm gonna demonstrate it to you now. So let's find a cool spot and go do some neurodiving. We're gonna take a few breaths, let's say five breaths. And we're gonna choose a stress position. This is gonna be simple, we're just gonna hold your hands, push back as hard as you can, arch your back and just sort of wiggle around. So hold your breath as long as you can. Now, you're gonna focus on an emotion that's uncomfortable. Anything, somebody that hurt you in the past, that's a great one. Anything that's a, a present emotion that keeps coming back and haunting you. Something that could be a traumatic event in the past. So you pick something. And now you're gonna hold your breath as long as you can and it's gonna build, this pain of holding your breath is gonna build because you're like, oh. Right? And, and it's intense. It's the same as diving. It's by the time you come up, you're in pain. So you gotta endure that pain. Now while you're doing that, that emotion, you just focus, you bring that emotion towards you and you just sort of deal with it. You start talking to it, start like fighting with it and saying, what are you doing in my life? What do you mean to me, right? So you wanna get to grips with that emotion. So you wanna face it full blunt of its force and you want to talk to it. You want to, now when you breathe and that final, there's this peace comes over you just from breathing and letting go of the stress position. So in that time, all you're gonna do is just let that emotion fade. You're just gonna say it's okay and just let that emotion or event or that trauma fade. That simple. Now you ready? We're gonna take five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and hold. with something that's positive, it's, it kind of disrupts it. It's like good and bad can't exist together in your brain. You're either happy or you're sad. It's really hard to be kind of like happy and sad at the same time. That's the same process that happens in neurodiving. Your neurons are changed. That's why I called it neurodiving. Best way to start neurodiving is lying on your back. It works 
very effectively. So with that, let me demonstrate a simple neurodiving exercise. So, feet are out. So we're gonna take five deep breaths and do a half crunch. One, two, three, four, five, Just go with the flow. You can just drift. Then I don't bring it back. I just let go and drift with it. It's an amazing, relaxed, go with the flow feeling. There's no tension in the body. It feels like you did a full workout. Daily basis. 
Because although you'll get this period of tremendous freedom when you first start doing it, those old niggly emotions, they start to creep in. And they sneak up on you. They're different. I was sitting in the doctor's office and feeling anxious. And I was like, Ooh, what's going on here? And I did that, this exercise. It just was, oh, I feel much better now. So anytime you feel an uncomfortable emotion, it doesn't matter what it is. So the secret of this process is to be aware of your emotional life, to be aware of what's impacting you, be, be aware of the stuff that you don't want in your life. And if you don't want it, deal with it. Now you can just simply hold your breath. If you're sitting and driving a car, just hold your breath for like until it's uncomfortable and then just let go and just breathe that emotion away from you. Just let it flow away. So, this process can change your life in a positive way. It has for me. It requires some degree of discipline. It has to be done repeatedly over time. The big, you'll get big results very quickly. But if you want to change your emotional state and rebuild a new emotional life, that takes time, determination. Freedom has a price. I believe you can do this. I know you've been through hard times. I know that you are carrying emotional pain. I know it's easy to fall victim to those emotions and just let go and give up and enter into that realm of depression. But don't do that. Fight it. Fight the emotions. Fight the feelings. Now you've got a technique. You can change whatever's coming at you. And with that, you can lead a new life. You can start building the lifestyle you want, the mindset you want, the state of mind that you want to live in. Instead of being a victim, you are now in charge. You are diving. It's a way to a new life.